Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwebin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to make your own flashable GApps packages. So as you might be aware, the GApps usually comes in 6 or 7 different types of forms. For exa example, the core GApp, which only have a few limited number of apps as you could see. Then we have the Go GApp, which only have the Google Go apps from various Google Go phones. Then we have the basic GApps, everything from the core and a few additional. And this is the most popular one. Then we have the Omni G apps, followed by the stock G apps, which have quite a, a lot of Google apps. And finally, we have the full G apps, which has near, near about every Google app packages and framework. But that's just about it. You have just five or six different types of G app which you have to choose from. And there are no options to modify these G app packages. You just have to download any one of them and then flash them onto your phone. But today I will show you how to modify the, these GApp packages and make your own GApps using any number of apps of your choice. For example, you could choose a couple of apps from the core GApp packages, then choose a few apps from this, then have a few apps from the Omni GApp packages, then a few from the full GApps and merge them into a single flashable zip file. And then you will have your own GApp packages, which will be hosted on the GitHub as well. So with that said, Let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to go to the Nick GApps GitHub page. So let's go there and sign in to your account. I've already done the sign in. Once that is done, you will now have to fork this GApps, Nick GApps to, to hit the fork button and it will take a few seconds. And now you will have to make sure that the config is available is being shown. So now click on create fork and the fork will be made. It will take only a few seconds from you could verify this from here as well. So the fork is now going on and it's now done. Once that is done, you will, we will now have to download the latest build of the Nick GApps config file. So open this link and from here always make sure to first of verify the Android version. So let's say, let's do for Android 13. So it's the Nick GApps T, which is the Android 13 version. Then go to the latest build. You could verify from the version number as well as the upload date. So the version 30 at the time of recording is the latest build and then get hold of the GApps config file and once that you have got it, you will have to open it. Regarding the opening of this file, you could use an advanced text editor app such as Notepad++ as well. So that is what I'll be using. So let me delete this file and rename it to nickgapps.config. So let's now open this file via Notepad++. You could install this app from Play Store. And now with this, we are inside the GApps config file. So the major task stands starts from here. So if you want to disable any app, then you will have to change its value to zero. On the other hand, by default, all the apps are enabled. Likewise, if you want to disable or remove the entire package, then just change the value of that package to zero and all the apps inside that package will also be removed. For example, if you don't want the entire core apps, then instead of changing the value of each of these apps to zero, what you could do is keep the value of all these apps to one and simply change the package value to zero and it will automatically remove all the apps inside the core package. So you could either if you want to remove individual apps, then just remove change the value to zero. On the other hand, if you want to remove the entire package, then simply change the value of the package to zero and all the apps inside that package will also be removed and it will not be there in the G app packages. As of now, I want the core package and apart from core package, I will add a few other packages to my G apps as well. So let's move ahead. I do not want this app. So I'm changing its value to zero. Apart from that messages, dialer contacts is well and good. So setup is required for the first time setup. So let's keep that as well. Then from here, all the apps are necessary for me. So regarding the pixel launcher, if you want a custom launcher, then you could disable the pixel launcher or if you want to use this launcher itself by default, as you could see it's enabled. So in my case, let's suppose I want to use the Nova launcher. So I don't want the pixel launcher. So instead of turning off or removing all these apps, I will simply put a zero next to one. So I have disabled the entire pixel launcher and this will remove all the apps which is part of the pixel launcher. Next we have the Google recorder. 
so it's fine then the google files so i don't want google files i want a root supported file manager app so i will remove the google files and all these files inside the google files app then this is fine this is fine i don't want velvet so let's remove that as well so google chrome is fine gmail this is fine this is fine so set go core go so one important aspect regarding this if you are using the google core packages which in my case i am using it as you could see then you will have to disable the core go you cannot have both of them at the same instance so since i am using the core packages so i'll have to disable the core go so let me turn that off again i am repeating if you are using the google core packages which i am using from here which has only the six files if you are using this core package then you will have to turn off the core go which i have done here next up we have the a few go go apps as well so these go apps are not a part of core go so this is separate so if you don't want so i don't want these apps because we will be using the official or rather the standalone version of this app so i don't want these apps so i am disabling or removing them as well because we are using the standalone version of gmail gallery and all such apps so i've turned off this value then these are the add-on packages if you want you may turn it off so i don't want google file let me remove it then we have the few other apps so regarding the pixel setup wizard let's disable this as well this is because i have disabled the pixel setup wizard just because i am already using the setup wizard from the original aosp let me show you so i am already using the setup wizard from here that is why i have disabled the pixel setup wizard if you don't want if you want to use the pixel setup wizard then you will have to disable this by changing its value to zero in my case i am using this so i have kept it at one so i have to disable the pixel setup wizard always make sure that there aren't two apps which are overlapping if that is the case then simply put a zero next to one of the app to remove this from the gapp packages once that is done it's now all fine from my end so we could now go ahead and save the file don't save it rather do a save as so go to file and choose save as and now you will have to rename it to something else first change the save as type to all files and then change the file name to something else make sure to keep the extension dot config itself just rename the file name so in my case let me rename it to droidwin android 13 let's give a underscore as well and dot config so let's save it in the desktop and with this we have got the config file so a couple of things to keep in mind if you cannot enable both the setup wizard and the pixel setup wizard likewise you cannot enable both the core and core go apps so let me just verify the same as well so setup wizard is zero and likewise the core go is set to zero and over here i am using the setup wizard and i am using the core so as well and good so with this i have saved the file and let me show you that as well so we have got the file in the desktop droidwin android 13.config so let's now proceed ahead now that we have done all this task we will now have to upload the file to the github so first and foremost go to your repo and repository from here you will have to select the android version so as of now we are using the android 13 so go to android 13 and once you are inside this you will now have to click on add file then choose upload file and you could either drag and drop the file here or simply upload it so let me drag and drop the file make sure you are inside the android version and not just inside the config folder as you could see from here we are inside the android version as well and not just inside the config folder so we are inside the android version and now we have dropped the file over here and the file has been uploaded now under the commit changes inside the add file file upload let's give it this name and optional extended description so you could type in any description that you want so as of now let me type in this description it will be easier to remember so once that is done you will just have to click on commit changes and it will take a few seconds so let's just wait for the progress and once that is done let's now proceed ahead and click now hit the commit button and as you could see currently our changes are being is committed now and it's currently open we will now have to do a pull request 
so let's now proceed ahead so now go to the pull request tab from here and now you have to click on new pull request so now hit the create pull request button and the title is sufficient and then this is also well and good if you want you may further tweak is if you want just a slight variation from the original so anyways once that is done just click on create pull request and the pull request will now be made it will check for a few seconds and as you could see the check is now complete and as of now your pull request should now be open so if you now go to the pull request tab you could see it's currently opened and it will now be verified and the verification takes up to 30 minutes and once that 30 minutes is complete you could then get hold of the your gs file so these as of now it's in the open and once it has been verified and the process has been done your config will be moved to the close tab as you could see these are the close tab and from here once that happens then it signifies that the gf packages is now built on for your phone and your config file has been verified by the developers so i have made a few so as you could see i first made an android 14 which has been verified then i made an android 13 and then i removed that config because i had to make this video so once your config is verified it will automatically move to the close section and once that happened you could then download your g apps from the config release section as well from this section go to the android version in our case it will be android t so go to the nick app g t section and from here choose the date and your g app should be here in a matter of few minutes so currently i have made a request and the request gets approved around 15 to 20 minutes so let's just wait for the time frame and then we will do a refresh and hopefully our request should be approved it should move to the close section and then we should have a gapps packages over here under the source forge which we could download and flash onto our phone so let's just wait for the time frame so guys as you could see there is no pending pull request in the open section so our request has been moved to the close section this signifies that our request has been verified so let's verify the same from here and as you could see it should be somewhere here itself so this is the right win and what 13 config so it has been verified and merged with the main nick g apps fork so with this our config has been approved there are no issues and it has been closed so now you could go ahead and download your g apps with the same name so for that just go to my guide and and from here you could go to the config release page of nick g apps it's on the source force page so go there and then you will have to download the file corresponding to the android version in my case we have made the g apps for android 13 which is android t so go to nick g apps t from here choose the date so actually i made the video on 27th of november so it was on this date so let's go there and we should now see our g apps file somewhere here so as you could see this is our g apps file we could now simply download this g apps file from here and then flash it onto our phone the flashing is quite simple if you are using the twrp or in fox or pitch black then go to install and select the file and do a right shot to flash it on the other hand if you are using an aosp recovery such as the lineage os recovery then in that case you will have to boot your phone to the recovery and then do an adb side load adb side load name of the file and then hit enter and the gs file will be side loaded onto your phone and the process stands complete so guys on that note i round up this video on how you could make your own gfs package if you have any queries you could refer to my guide the all the steps and screenshots are given here or you could also drop in in the comment section below and thanks a lot for watching